Osu has been out for well over a decade now, which means it has had time to develop a meta, sizable player base, and a grand collection of maps for said player base to entertain themselves for hours on end. Sometimes a specific map will pique the interest of so many players to the point where the song becomes popular outside of its original boundaries. The map in question reflects this notion very heavily, as for its time, it was one of the most difficult maps ever created, easily one of the most iconic, and provides a very interesting turn of events throughout its scoring history. This is the score progression of the Big Black. The Big Black was mapped by Blue Dragon and was submitted to get ranked on December 23rd, 2011. Some mods later, it would be all fixed up for rank on February 19th, 2012 which meant players were now able to compete for scores on the leaderboards. To the average player, this song and map may seem like the biggest outlier imaginable at first, but it's not exactly the first of its kind, as there were already maps like Mad Machine and Atama no Taisu out there, but the Big Black in particular seemed to form its own identity due to how uniquely difficult its mapping was. Right away you should be able to tell that the BPM of the song is pretty fast, and at 360 BPM, you would be more than right. The Big Black's constant usage of sliders that have this mix between reasonably smooth and very abrupt and non-linear sliders with some streams thrown in set the stage for a very interesting and hectic first half. The middle has lots of buzzer slider transitions with some varying rhythms that can be pretty tricky to time, and then these slider streams can be easy to break on as well. The end is a more intense iteration of the beginning, as the streams are now more spaced out, some of the slider patterns are harder to hit, and the ending stream is the cherry on top is the most chokeable section of the map by far. This V, or kind of V-shaped stream, requires so many strange motions, especially these three circles that form a smaller V, and to cap it all off, this harsh curve pattern at the very end. So now that you're all familiar with the map, it's time to take a look at how Ozu's player base back in 2012 handled this thing. The earliest existing scores we have of the Big Black are from April 2012, where the map had been ranked for a couple months now. To put it bluntly, players were struggling. The few that were able to even play the map on Nomad were able to play it pretty coherently though, with multiple players having miscounts in the single digits. One player in particular stood out not just by miscount, but by a much larger margin accuracy-wise too. Cookie Z's score stands at the very top by far with a 1 miss run and 99.15% accuracy on February 21st, 2012, just two days after the map was ranked. His miss would be at the very end on the last circle of that mini V section discussed earlier. While there were a few people close to FCing the map a couple months down the line, the fact that most halftime scores couldn't even compete with the accuracy side of Cookie Z's score was daunting to say the least. With a few months gone by, there was still no one even close to Cookie Z's score, as even other people ranked in the top 5 had no idea how to tackle the pure insanity this map facilitated. Eventually, Cookie Z's reign would finally come to an end, as the Big Black would finally meet its first FC by a player named Ruruchi on November 16th, 2012. Ruruchi had been on the come up over the months as he had comfortably solidified himself in the top 50, but it was still surprising to see someone come out of nowhere and get the world's first FC on a map of this caliber. What most likely helped out with this was his obsession with the map, as he was rumored to have had thousands of plays on it compared to Koki Z's play counts. Now this isn't to demean Ruruchi's accomplishment, but rather displayed the raw dedication and time he was willing to put in to get his foot further in the door in the top player scene. While Ruruchi's score was certainly a historical moment for the game, his glory wouldn't last for that long unfortunately, as Cookie Z would solidly take the number one spot back with a 99.55% FC on January 28th, 2013. Ruruchi would respond with an almost identical score, but would end up missing in the last stream. Cookie Z's score would continue to last for months like his last one did, 
and there seemed to be no other players that can match it. As the two top spots were split between the top player who had played the map thousands of times and the number one ranked player in the world. Although, it would be apparent that Cookie Z wouldn't have the number one score on the Big Black anymore, nor would he be the number one ranked player in the world. In fact, he wouldn't be visible any longer in Ozu's database entirely. On November 11th, 2013, Cookie Z would intentionally get banned for cheating on a map called Masterpiece, utilizing the three mod combination of Hidden, Hard Rock, and Double Time, something that was well out of Cookie Z's and virtually everyone else's skill range. With the number one ranked player out of the equation now, this was now the new leaderboard for the Big Black, with Ruruchi's second place score now bumped up to first place, and a few of the people on his tail with a couple one missed runs, one of them being with the hidden mod, which gives a 1.06 times score bonus. A few more months down the line, the leaderboards virtually didn't change at all, aside from some very minor score improvements. Ruruchi was also going on to make his name as a top player in other facets of the game, as he would go as far as to take the new number one spot in the PP leaderboards by a solid margin nevertheless. Even as late as March of 2014, no further score improvements were made. As for who would take the new number one spot on the Big Black, no one really knew for a while. But then, there would be a day where everyone would know. Oh. On May 17th, 2014, Ruruchi would become the first person to double S the Big Black. No other scores on the leaderboard didn't even have an FC, and after nearly 3,000 tries, Ruruchi would pull off what is renowned as one of the most historical scores in all of Osu. After this accomplishment, Ruruchi would actually begin to start going silent on the game, as his play count had dropped significantly until 2015, where he has played close to nothing since. With a double S shining on the leaderboards, and no one frankly close to beating it, players were going to have to think of another way to beat this score as a result. So now that the Big Black had been double s this meant that there was really only one viable way to beat it, by using a mod that grants a score multiplier. Hidden and Hard Rock are typically the most popular choices in this case, but the majority would use Hidden since on average, Hard Rock makes the map objectively more difficult with its smaller circle size, mirrored map, and tighter timing windows. With almost a year gone by, no one else had still FC'd the Big Black with or without a mod. However, there seemed to be some sort of signs pointing towards Ruruchi's score potentially being taken over soon, as there were two players that were close to a hidden FC, which were Wubblefolf and Spro, each with two misses with the mod. One player decided to take a completely different and much more aggressive approach, but if anything, would provide the most evidence towards a mod-oriented FC. On March 18th, 2015, Index would pull off the first ever S rank on the Big Black with a mod. Instead of hidden like most players were using to get on the leaderboards, Index opted for Hard Rock, which as we discussed before, is a mod that makes the map much more difficult compared to using hidden. While he did get an S rank, he would not secure the FC, as near the end he slider broke on two sliders. But the upside is that he managed to FC the ending, so this was a great piece of evidence towards an FC with any sort of mod. Throughout the next year, there would be a few notable scores set, as there were now a couple high accuracy Nomad FCs by Wobblefolf and ExpertBot, and two hidden S ranks by Nero and GN. But Ruruchi's score still remained, as it had now officially gone over two years uncontested, which is a rarity on maps this competitive and popular. After almost two and a half years, 
the Big Black would finally see its new champion, and this score was going to be even more difficult to beat than the previous one. On September 13th, 2016, ExpertBot, one of the only people with an initial full combo, would destroy his old Nomad FC's accuracy with a 99.82% hidden FC, and was the new number one on the big black. With only two 100s, the options for beating the score were so much more slim now. Only a 1 by 100 or double S on hidden or hard rock would beat it, or someone could take the initiative to FC with both hidden and hard rock with decent enough accuracy in combo. A hidden hard rock combination hadn't been thoroughly tested before, as most players couldn't FC the song to begin with still, let alone with those two mods at the same time. A player by the name of Vaxai would come extremely close to the number one record though, as he had gotten the same 200 count as Expert Bot with hidden, but would choke the ending stream. A year and a half would go by, and Expert Bot's score was starting to look like it would last longer than Verucci's score did. A hit in Hard Rock FC, though, was slowly starting to look more and more viable, as Wyro managed to get a 4 miss score on August 31st, 2017. He would FC all the way up until the last 10 seconds, but given the shaky accuracy throughout, it seemed inevitable the misses would start coming in as the map got substantially more difficult. In 2018, Rohulk gave it a shot as well, and would be extremely close, getting just one miss with some pretty respectable accuracy. Unfortunately, due to the intense amount of combo scoring in score v1, this went practically undetected since he missed in the middle of the song, as it wouldn't even crack the top 50. But it was certainly the closest to a new number one from a raw scoring standpoint. After all sorts of attempts from different players, one managed to finally put it all together and get the new number one score on the big black. Don't give it to me now, I shouldn't open fall anymore. The big black. Well, fuck me. Well, at least, at least this time we passed it, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, fag, uh, plus one, uh, plus plus one. Oh, no, uh, I mean, one three three seven would be nice, but that's not happening soon. Oh. Oh. On April fourth, two thousand eighteen, Wobblefoof would be the one to dethrone Expert Bot score with a ninety-seven point eight six percent and four misses. Thanks to his combo, he was able to hold on just long enough and take the new number one spot for the first time in over a year and a half. The map was now officially at the point where players were essentially forced to play with Hidden and Hard Rock if they wanted to have a chance at beating Wobbuffle's score. The thing is though, no one had yet FC'd the map on Hard Rock by itself, so we still didn't have any sufficient proof that anyone could have seed the song with this mod. Thankfully a few months later, someone would put the final piece together to prove it was possible. Okay. He FC. <sighs> FC. Such a bad nice. accuracy. On August 29th, 2018, Firebat92 would get the first ever Hard Rock FC on the Big Black, which would provide the final piece of evidence towards a potential hit in Hard Rock FC. To further cement this idea, Firebat went on to play with that combination just 10 minutes later, and got a 2 miss score with some solid accuracy. Players Aryu and Flying Tuna would also be very close with 1 miss scores, but since their combos were so low, they wouldn't even be close at taking Wobbuffle's score down. Another 2 years would go by, and someone finally got the first ever hit in Hard Rock FC, and this accuracy was going to make this pretty damn hard to beat.
On March 31st, 2020, Bubble Man would get the first ever hit in Hard Rock FC with a 99.29%. This was more or less considered the end goal for the Big Black. From a Nomad Double S, to a Hidden FC, to a Hard Rock FC, and now the elusive Hidden Hard Rock FC had been finally captured with reasonably high accuracy to go with it. There was now only one reasonable solution to obtaining the new number one on this map, and that was to simply beat Bubble Man's accuracy with Hidden Hard Rock and to pretty much get an FC on top of that. Player Bonk would obtain the second ever hit in Hard Rock FC with an extraordinarily unique playstyle, using his finger as his cursor while using his laptop to tap the keys, but would come up short of Bubble Man's accuracy with a 98.57%. The gap between these two would surprisingly increase down the line, as Bubble Man would end up going back to improve his score yet again to a 99.53% hit in Hard Rock FC on April 9th, 2021, to cement the final chapter in the Big Black history books. It's going to be so difficult. It's going to be so, so difficult. The Big Black is one of the most popular, iconic, and fascinating Osu maps ever created. While it's looked upon as a meme, an inside joke, or whatever you want to call it, it's certainly interesting to see how scores on it progressed and how players almost a decade later are still looking to push the envelope for something as gimmicky and frankly archaic as this map. There have been players like Vaxay who have passed it on every conceivable mod combination, and there are still other players trying to put themselves on the leaderboard in some fashion today. Bubble Man's score may seem obscenely difficult to beat, but the fact that players still can't seem to step away from this map gives some promise that maybe someday, someone new will rise to the task. Will they adhere to the hidden hard rock standard? Is a flashlight FC possible? Or will Bubble Man's score set the new record as the longest standing number one on the song? If anyone is able to answer that question themselves, we all look forward to seeing you on the leaderboards. This has been the score progression of The Big Black, and thanks for watching. Thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel, and if you want to see more Rhythm Gaming documentaries like this, feel free to check out my Patreon, drop a sub if you're new here, and check out my other links below. I'll see you all in whatever video I upload next, and take care.